to my channel. Everkum and the channel like this one. Before moving on to this session, you might have all known about my application. Still now, uh, many of them are contacting me uh, to join my WhatsApp group. Actually, all the WhatsApp groups are disclosed. You can join my application and you can even chat with me. And this application is open for all the allied health professionals. And even I will be sharing few of the job offers which I am coming across will also be shared through this application. And those who wish to purchase my book that is MCQ for radiographers and radiation therapy technologists are still available. Those who wish to purchase can WhatsApp me or you can mail me. I will be giving my WhatsApp number as well as uh, my email address in the description box. Even I will be sharing the link of my application for android users also for ios users will also be shared so please join my application and today we will be continuing the about the higher options for our course will be discussed for today's session in the part one i have shared few of the shortlisted university which are affordable for us was shared and those who have not yet watched have a watch to those that video so that you will get a brief idea of which all universities are applicable for us or which all universities are affordable for us. That's the main highlight. So let us see uh, each university in detail. So for today we will be seeing the uh, Liverpool, uh, University of Liverpool as well as Hertfordshire will be seen for today's session. So I will uh, share a few of the important highlights of this course so the liverpool university is giving the course that is diagnostic radiography pre-registration msc we have seen about the pre-registration that means uh, once after the completion of the course only we will get uh, eligibility for hcpc registration usually all these courses intake is happening on january january as well as by September, actually the intake is happening. For Jan January 2023, almost the uh, means the intake might have been closed or almost it is closed for hard for share. The next opening will be only by September. So the entry requirement they are asking achieve a 2 is to 2 equivalency uh, from an undergraduate degree means uh, uh, 60 to 65 percentage is needed uh, from the graduate those who have completed the bachelor's uh, degree in uh, radiography should acquire minimum of 60 to 65 percentage for higher eligibility uh, so uh, now let's see the module details in Liverpool we are discussing Okay, so let's see the module details. So the module details means uh, the, the course will be covering all these areas that is radiographic science and imaging technologies, muscular skeleton and soft tissue imaging system and research methods in healthcare practice, musculoskeleton and soft tissue imaging system, Clinical and professional practice, dissertation, advanced imaging technique and multimodality imaging, professionalism, advanced practice and imaging services. All these areas will be covered for uh, in the case of uh, for as module. Then comes the entry requirement. So the entry requirement is 2 is to 2. Minimum uh, it have to be qualified about 60 to 65 percentage then ILDS is very important for international qualification and the international students have to take uh, means NARIC guidelines that is National Recognition Information Center in the case of HCPC also we have discussed about this NARIC and I have already prepared a video related with NARIC also you can also watch that video so the NARIC equivalency means uh, the graduate course which we have studied here is equivalent for the courses offered in UK will be this 
NARIC certificate, it provides the equivalency. So you have to take that and along with that IELTS is compulsory. So IELTS score it is uh, 7. You have to acquire IELTS score of 7. Then comes about the fees. The for international fee for this course is uh, 24,200 pounds. Uh, then comes the applying. So what all requirements is needed means full CV is needed, degree certificate is needed, degree transcript is needed, one academic references, one character reference, GCAC certificate. GCAC certificate means the 10th and plus 2, then the school level certificates, then IELTS. And uh, for this, uh, you have to apply online. A school or college transcript or certificate is needed. University transcript and certified translations if applicable. If it is not in English, then degree certificate, then uh, IELTS and a personal statement. About this um, academic reference and character reference, I will uh, de uh, describe in detail. Uh, when we discuss about hard for sure, then personal statement is also needed. And in career for prospectus, it is uh, from uh, it is clear that once you have completed this course in UK, you uh, will be given hundred percent placement. It is what you discussed in career prospectus. It is all about the Liverpool University. Uh, you can go do googling uh, if you have uh, to get more details that is diagnostic radiology pre-registration msc if you do googling uh, you will get uh, the all the details you will be getting now let's see about hertfordshire uh, that means it is also uh, the course is uh, for the name for the course is MSc Diagnostic Radiology and Imaging Pre-Registration. So, let's, uh, means pre-registration means after the completion of the course, the student will be eligible for Health and Care Professional Council registration along with eligible for the membership of the Society and College of Radiographers. It is meant, meant by pre-registration. In the case of Hertfordshire, uh, the, now the uh, intake for the course for January is already closed and the next uh, intake will be, the, again the application will be opening only by September. Here also the standard requirements is English language qualification that is IELTS is needed and the score is 7. Then academic transcript and certificate front and back. Then references. For applicants for undergraduate program, you must provide one signed academic reference on headed paper. That means in a uh, headed paper, you have to give uh, one signed academic references as well as uh, you must provide two. In the case of applicants for undergraduate, it is needed only uh, sorry one uh, signed academic references. While in the case of postgraduate program, you have to provide two, two acad signed academic references on headed paper. Then comes the personal statement. So in this personal statement, what all things have to be included? Means your reason for applying for this course have to be included. Your reason for applying for the University of Hertfordshire should be included. Your reasons for applying to a UK university and your career aspiration and how the course fits in with this. All these things should be included in the personal statement. So why you are applying for this course, why you are applying to the University of Hertfordshire or why you are applying to UK. All those things you have to give. Then the copy of your passport photo page should be given. Uh, then comes all these things are the requirements then comes the fees for international students is around uh, pound 16 630 that is around 15 lakhs 
uh, then comes about the uh, application make your application means it is happening only by uh, uh, this then comes uh, along with the requirements comes the immigration history evidence uh, have to be provided and ATS certificate ATAS certificate ATS certificate means the academic technology approval scheme it is made by ATS and it is applicable to all the international students and the researchers who are subject to UK immigration control and this ATS certificate can be uh, applied online by giving all these certificates you can apply online foreign and commonwealth office have to provide the eligibility uh, means this actor's certificate will be provided by foreign and commonwealth office and once it is refused you won't be eligible to go for uh, studies in uk so this certificate is uh, needed in the case of all the international uh, courses this certificate is the modules covered in hertfordshire is imaging practice commencing professional practice science for imaging professionals anatomy physiology and pathology for imaging professionals preliminary clinical evaluation leadership management and advancing professional practice imaging practice and independent research all these are the modules and this is also a two year course and with semester with three semester you will be having a b and c uh, Hertfordshire also provide the accommodation you have to in campus accommodation they are providing you have to apply for this accommodation also you have to pay uh, extra fare it is not included in the tuition fees so it is all about the two universities we have seen Hertfordshire as well as Liverpool uh, and if you want to know more details you can do googling and if you have any doubts you can get back to me in my whatsapp or through my application uh, so with that i'm minding up today's session hope uh, today's session was informative so if you like all my videos please don't forget to share among your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading uh, stay tuned until then bye bye Thank you.